this. Yeah, these guys are conspiracy just, theorists yeah. over here at Consider. Yeah, they are. What's wrong with these they guys? Are. What kind of CBTs are they smoking? <laughs> CBTs. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean. Oh, man. Maybe that's the problem. We're smoking CBTs instead of CBDs. <laughs> This guy. What this does that guy. stand for? My oh, face. I don't know. Right. <laughs> My face. Oh hurts. man. I don't know what you trying to do. What the <laughs> what's, what's going on, man? I'm Tef. I am that I am. Some call me Haru. Some call me Jadon. I'm Matt. <laughs> we found them on the side of the road. <laughs> And he just had a bunch of weed, so he was exactly. Right there. <laughs> exactly. So you, your viewing true. today is uh, the Consenta Show, episode sixteen. Well, we're just moving, having some fun. We're going to be talking about CBDs and CBD rich strains. Um, but you can like us, <laughs> right? You can comment. You can share. You know. Um, and kind of touch bases with us at considergroup.com. Snapchat? Yeah. Snapchat? I don't know. Why not? Oh, hey. <laughs> WhatsApp? LinkedIn. Um, uh, Instagram, Twitter, of course, and Facebook. MySpace. So we're out there making it happen. Yes. Yes, that dude. That dude. <laughs> I've been there in a while. What's, what's going on there? Last time I, I saw yeah, I don't, Timberlake owned them or something. And would be, Tom's just hanging out. Exactly. Tom, I'll eat. Sure, took yeah, his I'm millions sure. laugh his ass off. <laughs> he, yeah, yeah, he's sure. like, I dumped this piece of crap at the sure, right time. For sure, for sure. Yeah, so like I said, we could just um, we we got some new features on the site. Um, You're welcome. Put a, yeah, putting a whole bunch of new features on the site with the articles and whatnot. Thanks to Jadon doing his thing. Um, we've been kind of doing some interesting things lately, trying to get some some other foundations like we got the email uh, pop-up going on right now so we're trying to collect your emails <laughs> basically trying but to get the, the NSA time, to yeah. take your information exactly um, and really give you offer you some things offer you some value we've got a free ebook um, the Northwest Cannabis Guide that's basically um, in the Northwest area as far as so better be considering it's named the Northwest yeah exactly Dispensaries and different op- other well, options. Although it could be kind of funny if it was actually the Southwest. Well, it could be. It could be your West, your coast. I don't know what that means. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> anything, anything. <laughs> so we're just making it happen. Like I said, we're just going to be talking about today is the CBDs. And what are the CBDs? Um, this is basically a cannabinol. That's one of the chemicals in particular. 60 chemicals to be exact. According to what is actually in the hemp seed or in the hemp particular plant. So um, so what are CBDs? Usually, they're the opposite of THC, right? I mean, I'm sure y'all heard of that particularly. Well, that's right? what everyone talks about, right? Exactly. That's been the main... Probably most people don't even know what CBD is. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I wouldn't CBD know until content, recently. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, kind of like what we're trying right now and talk to Lily... It's high in CBDs, you know what I'm saying? And you could feel it. You could kind of feel it, even though we's, we're working with three other strains, two <laughs> other strains here, but you can kind of feel like the, the grounding, the indica feel, you know, and the CBDs usually work on that side of it, even though they do have a sativa type and a hybrid type. And we will kind of talk about that. But the basic idea what we wanted to do here is just kind of give you what CBDs are really about, you know, it don't get you high. The CBD content can it, it works in particular plants. S- certain mixtures, obviously, we're starting to learn certain mixtures of the plants, you know, and they they have their particular phenotypes and whatnot, right? And I'm speaking some scientific phrases, but you guys understand what I'm saying, right? You know, but that's basically what sure, you know. It's the medical <laughs> approach. Yeah. It's the medical approach. This is the. Maybe we should you know, have started this recording. You know, <laughs> it's the medical recording. <laughs> you know, so this this is the approach they have been using as far as the CBD contents. They always talk about that's the big thing with the medical dispensaries. You know, and then you have the recre- re- recreational where you're dealing with the THC, the high content, and THC such things, and then um, and it all 
What's cool about CBDs that have been given to children. So that's some of the things on certain levels you they're able to give them for different elements and different mm-hmm. diseases they have. You know. Um, yeah, I uh, heard that there was this group in Colorado that was specifically breeding very high CBD mm-hmm. strains with, with and very low THC strains, mm-hmm. and uh, they were doing that specifically to give to children. And there was uh, one case of this one kid who was having um, seizures every single day, and he was losing the ability to walk mm-hmm. and talk. And he started using this really high CBD strain, like in edibles and stuff, and his seizures went down to like less than once a month. And he's learning just to do all the stuff that a normal kid should do. See, and that's cool. And that's one of the things I think why these particular universities haven't been doing studies, you know, because they're blocking this information from the public, obviously. Even though it's there, don't take me wrong, because we do have, we'll talk about the resources and whatnot in our show notes, but basically, kind of some of the things that's actually going on in that particular what what you know what your government don't really want you to know that's basically what it's coming down well, the to the pharmaceutical yeah industry. exactly exactly Which owns the government, yes basically. yes yes so what are some of the benefits of the cbds um their pain relief anti-inflammatory um strengthens bones anti-nausea and more other elements i mean it's, it, and it's kind of showing a little well, bit now. Well, what to do for Max. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, um, I have a hiatal hernia, and uh, that's where, like, your the diaphragm for your lungs that brings air in. Like, your stomach, your esophagus goes through that, and the hiatal hernia is where your stomach slips through that. Mm. And so your that whole muscle is just pinching your stomach off the whole time. Wow. And so I can't hardly eat during the day. It's uncomfortable. I sue, even with uh, medication, like... Um, um, anti antacid medications like I'm nauseous when I eat too much, especially in stressful s- situations. Yes. And um, and I get weed that is high in CBD and you know kind of high in THC too yeah. sometimes. Yeah, for sure. Because um, I get it from the, a recreational place because mm. I don't want to get the medical card. For sure. Um, for sure. But it it helps me um, so much to the point where like I wait till the end of the day to smoke anyway mm-hmm. and like that's when most of my calories are coming in no is cause like I, I'll eat throughout the day um, a little bit more because I've been able to eat and my stomach is able to stretch a bit yeah. Mm-hmm. but um, yeah but still most of the, my, uh, my f- <coughs> food intakes at night yeah that's pretty cool yeah and, and, and another thing I would say is non-psychoactive too that's mm-hmm. one of the things about CBDs it's not psych- so it can it can actually, I won't say it can harm you because we will talk about a few things about the misconceptions about CBDs as well. Just kind of informing people just what's really, you know, what's actually available. I'm not saying I know anything because that's what I tell you all the time. Do your own research. You know what I'm saying? Find out for yourself. Experience for, for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We're not. I'm not advocating anything, but I'm just suggesting some things we got to look into. Per se, especially when it comes to putting things in our body, you know. Oh, you I mean, yeah. I mean, with the supplementations and the different foods, we don't even know what the food is. You know what I'm saying? All that chemicals and this and that. What is a scurcurshu? Whatever that. You know what I'm saying? It be terms on there you can't even pronounce. You know what I'm saying? But it's just some things we gotta, I think, really start paying attention. So I wanted to just uh, blab off some of the CBD strains. Uh, Obviously, it's going to be a little different due to symptoms and particular diseases you do have. You know, different levels you may need or don't need that will help you, per se. But uh, I just wanted to shoot off this from Leafly, Leafly.com. Um, I'm just going to talk about all the high CBD strains, a few of them. I'm just going to name a few I'm of them. i say a lot of them. It's, yeah, it's a lot of them, but what I was going to do is speak those particular strains and then what I was going to do is give y'all an exclusive with the consider this particular section and we'll go in detail what it actually helps with and this and that but I just wanted to name just a few of them of the hybrids like a a Zen, a Midnight a Maui uh, Bubble Gift, then Sativa (laughs) Charlotte's Web Jamaican Lion Swiss Gold, yeah, Creative though, Creative and you know, and it keeps your, it keeps kind of your mind sharp too. You know what I'm saying? Because you're like, yeah, the consider give me some of that. strain. Yeah, soon. give me some of that Jamaican line. You know, <laughs> I know what it's doing for you. Now. 
Make that you mean know what something I'm for somebody else. Know. It's a Jamaican lion. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Save them. <laughs> you know, but it's it's just uh, like indicas. So it'd be critical mass, uh, remedy, sweet and sour widow strains, you know? So these are just some of the strains I was kind of... I love my widow sweet and sour. <laughs> yeah, that might sound pretty good. Okay, well, yeah. <laughs> I knew Matt was really, thinking it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I was, I was waiting to interrupt. I was waiting to see what he was saying. You know, so what are some of the mis? You know, what what is some of your thoughts on the CBDs or how? You know, come on, talk. Let me let me. I like to discuss some of these things. What what is? Some I know of what you like. Me? Your favorite thing on Facebook is when people just like yeah. something oh. and don't comments. Yeah, that's horrible. So I'm going to pretend right now I'm just liking you. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. No. No comments. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I said it earlier. I mean, I didn't know this stuff till semi-recently myself. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, it's just more pieces to the puzzle, you know, sure. that it, this plant it has so many different uses. Like you said, 60 different, you know, cannabis oils in there and whatnot that do different things, you know. We've talked about it briefly. You know, you can make clothing out of it you can make you know Everything. some sort of energy source out mm -hmm. of it instead of you know oil you know sure. traditional oil sure. you can all the medical benefits for your body and repairing your body for certain things or whatnot I mean, even even certain things like you know managing stress i mean oh, stress is like the number one killer sure. you know and so don't tell me that's not a medical problem I mean, you could obviously something around your life is causing that stress. Yes. That's what you should probably try to figure out if you can. But if you can't, here's something that works. And not some chemical garbage that you're, exactly. you know, antipsychotics and all this garbage you're subscribed, <laughs> subscribed, prescribed to. Now we can, now we can grow. Oh, okay. Now we can grow. Now we can grow our own little I think we just got too, the intro right. to the show. Yeah, that is the intro. <laughs> just that <laughs> happening over <laughs> on repeat. We're going to make a meme. Yes. Our first consider meme. And it's a guess. Great. I like it. I like it. What can we say? I'm heading straight to Reddit after this. <laughs> We should get on Reddit oh, a lot, actually. You should get on Reddit. Yeah. Our trees is awesome. Yeah. That's a that's a cool place. Snoop Dogg pops in and talks about it. Yeah, sometimes. That's really cool. That's really cool. So, so here, then I'll go to this part then. All right. Uh, the misconceptions of mm -hmm. CBDs. Mm -hmm. So um, CBD is medical and THC is recreational, right? <laughs> well, that's what you kind of said. That's what they... Well, well, that's, what well, that's basically what's going on here. Okay, uh, THC is a, a bad cannabinol. Um, CBDs is the good cannabinol, right? Yeah, cannabinoids, I'm sorry, cannabinoid. You know, um, CBDs have most effective without THC, right? They're most effective without THC, but some cases it's not. And some issues, you know, particular strains, that's what they actually, and you can actually find this, I wanna just put that out there, at Project projectcbd.org you can find these particular misconceptions these were actually pretty interesting even though I'm just reading you the headline that's basically what I'm reading so y'all probably wonder this guy is not finishing his sentence <laughs> so, but uh, uh, psychoactive inherently um, adverse side effects these are some of the other things and it's not legal in all states that's one of the things a lot of people got to pay attention mm. to. That's and that's yeah, that was kind of a Sad, big one out there, you know. So not surprising. And and like I said, and it comes in different phenotypes, whatever you know breed, particularly that CBD may have. How about the misconception we just saw on Harold and Kumar, where they were showing the stupid commercial, the guy tries to eat for the first time, <laughs> and then he immediately goes to an unlocked, loaded gun cabinet. <laughs> I mean, they don't talk about that. No. No. And then he just Ooh. sticks the gun in his mouth, <laughs> and it, marijuana kills. Yeah, what? That was crazy. You know, it's funny because I remember that commercial too. Yeah, I remember the famous one with the the egg. Oh the yeah, egg. this is your brain yeah, this or is your something brain like that. Yeah, yeah, we talked about that. Yeah, we should try to find those. Yeah, they were yeah, bad. Yeah, they, they were home. And it's <laughs> such were home. lies. Yeah. Just, every aspect of it, they'll tell you, and then they tell you, oh, uh, you know. 
well, marijuana is bad. But the, and people are like, oh, why is it bad? I'm like, well, be- because it gets you into harder stuff. Because everybody who's into like heroin or cocaine, they've done marijuana first. Yeah, it's like, yeah. yeah, well, that's the easiest thing to get. Like they've also done milk first and exactly. and, and caffeine exactly. first come and you know on, coffee. Come on. Like yes. yeah, they they start yes. with that yes. and they keep building because that's their that's the type of lifestyle they like are driven towards. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've said you know it's you know people argue oh they're lazy or you know they're yeah. just they're stoners and they're not getting anything done and you know you said it time and time again it's it enhances what you naturally need or are or whatever. So if you're already in a state of laziness, it's probably going to make you lazier. I mean, it, it, and there's sometimes I take it and that's exactly what I wanted to do and that's my mindset already and that's the point. But, you know, if you're in a different mindset, a rule of time likes to do it and he goes into the gym. You know, it's a completely different, you know, mindset and it enhances you at the gym. And it, the one thing, too, I love about it, because it puts the discipline within it, you know what I'm saying? Because it humbles you a little bit. It slows time down, so you're paying attention more to detail. You're seeing things, like we're looking at our famous uh, <laughs> camera stand, and I'm thinking to myself, <laughs> I mean, you no start know really, we're laughing. you know, <laughs> paying attention it's to certain just, things. Uh, you know, certain it's moment. actually just the uh, midgets holding, <laughs> holding my phone. Yes. Lord Tyrion from <laughs> Game of Thrones. <laughs> that little guy. That little guy. And another resource yeah, I wanted to... Her. Yes, another Twice. resource I wanted to, <laughs> <laughs> to talk about is this. This actually is a great... Uh, words can, on the show. Uh, yeah, come on, sometimes. explicit but lyrics. I, I know, I actually do. I put the explicit on Matter the of fact, I just wanted to talk about this a little bit. This book, Cannabis Pharmacy, this is actually a really good resource. Um, and it talks about all those... The medical side of the industry. You know, and they really break down a lot of the, you know, literally what the compound is, cherry cough. That was a particular strain, and it breaks it all down, what it's yeah, attributes cool. of it. You know, and you kind of know if it's in this particular area of the country or the world or whatever. So it's really detailed. I really enjoy it. Yeah, that would be pretty cool if I read paper music. books, too. Yeah, that would be nice. Well, you can go out there and cop that from Amazon.com. <laughs> you know what I realized? <laughs> Like, uh, me and you were like sports broadcasters, and like, I'm the color guy. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes, but sometimes our roles reverse. Yeah, for sure. But for the most part, I'm for the sure. color guy. Yeah. There's probably some people who watch the show, like, this is Jay Don guy. He's like, oh, stupid. <laughs> for what is he there for? He knows nothing. Oh, okay. Bruce, the man with all the info. <laughs> Well, that's because he has a lot of time on his hands yeah, and research. Yeah, so, <laughs> and, and you got to make the time, too, as well. you got to make the time. You know? Uh, you know, spending time with my kids or researching weed. Yeah. Let, let's be honest here. <laughs> let's get the better deal, huh? No, but it, it, I'll let you do it's just a, yeah, it's, it's just been, yeah, work. We right. should do a <laughs> thanks Haru meme, like the thanks Obama, the thanks Haru. So, wow, they got one for Is it Obama? sincere? Like, but it's, yeah. it's, but it's, it's sincere. Like, it's like, oh man, you put in all this work. Thanks Haru. <laughs> yeah, we should make it a positive. <laughs> <That's just laughs> uh, have you seen, nice. I'll have to give this, nice. I'll have to give this to Obama, because he, he's aware of that meme of him. Mm-hmm. Have you seen the meme, of, or the little video of him? Trolling himself with it because he can't uh, dunk a cookie. Yeah, <laughs> he's like so things of all like all right, <laughs> all right, that's kind of funny. <laughs> I mean, yeah, good on you. Yeah. Anyways. Oh no, but I mean, it's a point. Like I said, we just yeah, so he was probably high things, on THC yeah. at the time. So. For sure. For sure. That's Not why he was having sure. cookies. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what goes hand in hand? <laughs> cookie. He's come in love. Come on. Sounds yeah. good too. Oh man, if, if he had like a last speech. Or he just came out just blunt in his fucking mouth. Oh, just, oh man. I'm out. I, <laughs> I think coolest that, president ever. ever, ever. <laughs> that would be a Gandalf fight. That would be kind of cool. A different way. Either way would be cool, pretty funny. Have you seen that thing that I just saw the other day where it's him in the last address or whatever and he just comes out and he, I forget it, but it's like if someone edited the video this way and it's seamless, you would think he actually did this where he just gets up there and he's like 
fuck you all, drops the mic, <laughs> and walks, you, walks off or whatever. Yeah, that's I that's mean, the videos seem like I can't see the editing and everything, and I'm like, did he like, actually do this? Because I don't watch these yeah. stupid things, it's a waste of time, but I'm like, that'd be cool if you actually did say that. <laughs> right. yeah, yeah, especially with this country. Of course, the NWO would have been uh, Shit removed. Down. <laughs> just, yeah, these guys are conspiracy just, theorists over yeah. here at Consider. Yeah, they are. What's wrong with these they guys? Are. What kind they of are. CBTs are they smoking? Yeah, they <laughs> CBTs? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, man. <laughs> Maybe that's the problem. We're smoking CBTs <laughs> instead of CBDs. <laughs> <laughs> This guy. What this does that guy. stand for? My oh, face. I don't know. Right <laughs> My face. Oh man, I don't know what you're trying to do. What the hell? What's, what's going on, man? So, um, oh, I did send out. Let me say this. I did send out this virtual cannabis health summit. Summit that's coming up on the 24th, 23rd, and 24th. And that, that was actually interesting how they're going to do that, kind of putting together, talking about the different cancers that has been healed. Where was that? This is actually a virtual. Oh yeah, um, yeah. Particular summit, submit. Uh, I can't even say the term, but uh, event. <laughs> That's actually going to be going on. So you have to wear event. like an Oculus Rift in order to I see don't this know. place. No, it's going to be virtually in. It's going to be in. There. <laughs> yeah. You so know? do you need an Oculus Rift? I don't know. You don't even know what I'm talking yeah, about right yeah, now. No. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> it's a virtual reality experience, like legit. Like, it, it's possible. I, I don't know. We'll I see. doubt it because it's not out yet besides the dev kids. Yeah. We're getting nerdy here. But remember I said it would be the beginning of the end when actual VR is here? Because everyone will just check into these places yeah. and just never leave. Not even know that they're in a... Because the graphics are going to get so realistic. and yeah. Like we've it seen movies. We've yeah. seen like movies and stuff that you know talk about this. It's like, yeah. <laughs> you just plug in. I mean... Why wouldn't you? They've made our lives live in hell. You know, right. Why do we play games in the first place? Yeah, why sure. do I? Why have I started gaming again? Well, because I want to do. But you know, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I haven't gaming so long. I need some. Inter- but it's it's the thing. I need some entertainment in my life because yeah. we're doing these stupid jobs all day that we hate. Take your time. You know, gaming is a it's a good medium though for for that kind of thing. Like I mean, because I mean, people people always do that. Not you read a novel. You watch a movie, you yeah. sit down and play a game. It's all kind of just an entertainment medium to take your mind yeah, off of the day. Yeah, as long as you balance, I would say, yeah. as long yeah, as you're yeah. balancing it, right? For sure. Because yeah. you got a lot of culture that don't do that. The majority of their time is in that game, and they're living that conscious reality, right? Way back in, in that particular. I worked at Office Max right. back in the day. My first job was when uh, there was a guy that was, I think it was in the World of Warcraft, first came out. And he didn't, you know, he took the day off to get it. And then he kept calling in sick every day after that. Then eventually just stopped calling. Because, <laughs> wow. you know, the wow took him. It's took, it taken a lot of us. That's crazy. It's taken me decently. I dove into it my, uh, when I was with my ex wife. <clears throat> Like, yeah. just get out of my life. Just yeah. <laughs> like, like, this sucks. It's an addicting, yeah. you know, thing. I mean, a lot of games are. Cause they're just, yeah, the check out and a little bit, and before you know it, it's been all day or whatever. <laughs> Time flies. Yeah, for sure. On that note, I wish my job would go that fast. Yeah, on that note, we came down to our little two minute <clears throat> spiel. So we just wanted to. Did you have anything you wanted to say? Last thing about CBD, CB Rich D. Or CBTs. Or CBT, <laughs> CBTs. I don't know what CBT stands for. I've actually been sitting here trying to think of something funny. Um, <laughs> oh, you failed. Uh, oh, no, yeah. Got okay, a minute at 30. So. I guess CBTs we'll, we'll, been... we'll sit here and wait. <laughs> and, I'll, and when I edit the video, I'll add a little, uh, 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 you know. Time, uh, the taking time clock. A little time, yeah. From you take whatever, a crack. You know, whatever it is. No, yeah, no, I, I, I personally have had um, my life changed by CBDs, and um, if it wasn't for living in a state that legalized it, I don't think I would have come to that. So, I, it, and I'm, I'm healthier for it, I just get sick less, and it's... Uh, You're getting your nutrients in, and yeah. like all that stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm, sure. I'm, I'm living a more full life because of it. So, I mean, it's happier. better in my life. And you're happier. Yeah. yeah. Makes sense. Make a lot of people want to say something. <laughs> 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 Why 
Really? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Considergroup.com, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, LinkedIn. Snapchat. That's <laughs> not like, anything. Hotshot. That's a lot. Li- what is that coming from Consider? <laughs> Snapshots. <laughs> Snapshot. Yeah. That's Why it. not? It's like competitor to Instagram and Instagram Snapchat. And all, yeah. <laughs> just what we need is yet another chat client. No, they're not enough. Because <laughs> we've only had them for 25 years and we yeah, need more. And they little wall too. They little time caps on. Three seconds? Four seconds? What is the little capture? What do you do? Oh, you probably know. Snapchat? Yeah. I don't know. I'm not a 12 year old trying to get late. Yeah, you read it out there. That's it. See ya. Peace.